today we'll go to go through the some of the topics which condition that can occur a pulmonary condition that can occur after a motor vehicle collision so here is uh, like condition like a flail chest and a pulmonary condition okay so the this question uh, first we'll go through this question a 22 year old man is brought to emergency department after a high speed motor vehicle collision blood pressure is 100 by 60 pulse rate is 122 per minutes respiratory is uh, 40 per minute pulse ox pulse oximetry is 88 on 6 liter of oxygen patient is alert but appears to be in respiratory distress and breath sound are diminished bilaterally and the bilateral chest tube placed the patient respiratory status initially improved however over the next hour he developed a respiratory failure requiring intubation and mechanical ventilation post intubation chest x ray is shown below right here so yeah when we look at the chest x ray here it uh, after motor vehicle accident if we don't look at the continuity of a bone here uh we can uh, it appears as ards but if you look carefully like the, if you look at check the continuity of a rib here you will see a discontinuity in bone here one here two three so yeah we see a rib fracture here right so this condition if we find uh, if we see a rib fracture more than three rib fracture at a uh, different location this condition is called a flail chest Okay. So if we we'll go back at the notes here, so flail chest is a condition when there is a three rib adjacent rib are fractured at a two or more location, causing a segment of rib to lose its continuity with the remainder uh, thoracic vault or thoracic wall, which can cause a pain and shallow breath. can lead to hyperventilation to compensate for hypoxemia but these symptoms pain shallow breath and hyperventilation won't appear as, er as early because there is a muscle in thoracic cage right intercostal muscle these muscles splinting will mask the motion of for involved ribs and making it difficult to diagnose at the early phase of for flail chest right so the flail chest this can lead to condition called a pulmonary contusion which on x ray you will see irregular non lobar areas of opacification non lobar areas of opacification here non lobar because if there's a lobar opacification this can be seen in pneumonia right So here it says non lobar irregular areas of opacification but pulmonary condition can also cause pneumonia and ARDS So when you say a pulmonary contusion if you look at the table here this condition can present within the 24 hours after a blunt thoracic trauma any after suppose is a motor vehicle accident within the 24 hours this condition can appear basically pulmonary contusion means there is a lung parenchyma bruising is there which develop within the 24 hours as a pulmonary edema sets in okay so patient comes off and comes to present and uh, presents to emergency after motor vehicle accident right so when there is a patient with accident most likely in emergency we might give a fluid right so fluid if we give a fluid these can uh, speed up of hasten the as appearance of symptoms so as it's mentioned here also pulmonary uh, alveolar hemorrhage and edema that occurs after accident often worsened by fluid resuscitation patient will present with a dyspnea tachypnea and hypoxemia so as we mentioned here also the patient will have a hyperventilation also right during hyperventilation the oxygen content will decrease right these might cause a respiratory alkalosis also 
so during exam physical exam one of the typical sign that you will see is uh, there's a paradoxical paradoxical inward motion during usually during inspiration there is a outward movement of chest wall and during expiration there is a inward movement but in condition like a flail chest there is a paradoxical inward motion during inspiration and outward movement during expiration this is one of the typical sign that you will see in a uh, flail chest other condition like a diaphragmatic injury that can occur after phrenic nerve injury will also have a paradoxical movement of chest wall during respiration okay so the one of the most important or the most important initial steps that you can do in these sort of patient is the pain control because the patient can't breathe well right they have a shallow breath because of shallow breath patient have to hyperventilate to compensate for hypoxemia so if you control the pain patient might be able to breathe properly one is control the uh, pain control and supplemental oxygen so if you look here <coughs> in pulmonary condition you will see a uh, decreased breath sound and drowse right and on x-ray you will see a patchy and alveolar infiltrate not restricted by anatomical border that means it's saying this is not a lobar consolidation and here the management pain management supplemental oxygen and ventilator support and chest physiotherapy pain control supplemental oxygen with the mechanical positive pressure ventilation because in a flail chest uh, during normal respiration regular respiration there's a generation of a negative inspiratory pressure which uh, facilitates the which cause the inspiration right but in flail chest there is impaired generation of a negative inspiratory pressure therefore positive pressure and mechanical positive pressure ventilation is uh, useful in this condition because it allows uh, the rib cage to move out normally on physical exam also you will see obviously bruising on a chest wall decreased breath sound on the side of contortion right so sometimes we do CT if we have to make an early diagnosis the important thing here to notice is the pulmonary contortion it occurs most likely occurs within the 24 hours but ARDS which ARDS which can occur after a uh, motor vehicle accident but these uh, usually develop after 24 uh, within 24 to 48 hours after trauma and involve bilateral lung lungs yeah so uh, so if we look back at the question right here if you read the question again 22 year old 22 year old emergency department motor vehicle collision blood pressure pulse rate tachycardia uh, tachypnea and uh, hypoxemia is there right on six liter of oxygen patient is alert but respiratory distress diminished breath sound bilaterally chest tube placed initially improved but next hour develop respiratory failure and requiring intubation and mechanical ventilation post intubation chest x-ray is shown below so which of the following is most likely cause of patient need for mechanical ventilation so first if we think about the option a which is ARDS this can be the answer if we uh, if you look at the patient history which is after the high-speed motor vehicle accident but the thing is uh, the duration however the next few next hour will develop respiratory failure ARDS usually develop within 24 to 48 hours 
but this is like uh, too early for ARDSs to develop let's keep it here right like this right blunt cardiac injury blunt cardiac injury uh, if you look at the blood pressure here it's it's on the lower side but it's pretty normal 100 by 60 is normal right in blunt cardiac injury there can be hypotension we might suspect hypotension here so most likely I would rule out this one and uh, fat embolism which can also occur after motor vehicle accident if the long bones are involved suppose femur is femur fracture is there if there's a history of a femur, femur fracture we can suspect fat embolism but there is no history given here right so we can rule out this also diaphragmatic rupture which can also occur after accident but uh, if you look at the chest x-ray here on the x-ray chest x-ray do you see any bowel here on an thorax no right and if you see carefully this is uh, this seems to be this is this seems like a ng a nasogastric tube and if you if you look here this is the ng tube you can see in the stomach right here so which is in the correct place so this is un most likely this is not a diaphragmatic uh, rupture if there's a diaphragmatic rupture there might be herniation of a uh, stomach right or fundus part so I would say this is not a diaphragmatic rupture and the flail chest obviously this is the answer right because on x-ray you will see a more than three fracture on a two or more than two locations and patient has a respiratory dis uh, distress and uh, also patient has a um, uh, tachycardia tachypnea respiratory distress is there so most likely the answer is a resp uh, flail chest That's it guys. Thank you.